Welcome everyone to another Malware Geek video. Today we are going to be taking a look at MCSoft. Specifically, we are going to be taking a look at MCSoft's behavior blocker and anti ransomware module um, and see how well it can do at preventing a ransomware attack. Much like the uh, Malwarebytes video, we're going to be throwing some ransomware samples against MCSoft and see how it reacts. To prevent signature interference, I've turned off the surf protection and the file guard. However, the behavior blocker and the anti-ransomware module are still active. Much like in the um, Malwarebytes anti-ransomware video, um, this is not the full review of MCSoft anti-malware. I plan to do that in a future video. Also, we have our sample pictures here, which are going to be the target of the ransomware attack. So we're going to put those to the side here, just to show you. They are fully accessible. I'm going to pull up Kill Switch here, which will allow us to see the ransomware in memory and see how MCSoft affects it or doesn't affect it. So we will put that here. Once again, I will show you before we start, the behavior blocker and the anti-ransomware module are active. However, surf protection and the file guard are off. In this folder, we have the same ransomware samples that we were using against Malwarebytes, anti-malware, ransomware, or anti-ransomware engine. So, um, we're going to see uh, how well... Uh, MCSoft does, and it'll get a, give you kind of a comparison of how uh, each product does. And like uh, Malwarebytes Anti Ransomware, we're going to start with Jigsaw and we'll move progressively down the list. So, without further ado, let's get testing. So, Jigsaw is in memory, and immediately we get an alert from MCSoft that suspicious behavior has been found in the program, jigsaw.exe. Recognizes dangerous by the anti malware network and has been quarantined. So, the behavior blocker has kicked in, and MCSoft got rid of it. And it did not affect our pictures, which is exciting. The next uh, ransomware sample we are going to launch is CryptoWall, which is an older ransomware sample, and immediately MCSoft gives us an alert that it is recognized as dangerous, and once again it disappears from memory and is quarantined by MCSoft. Fantastic. Let's move on to Locky. It is immediately detected as a Trojan, actually a file coder, in um, Kill Switch. So let's see if this one can get past MCSoft's behavior blocker. So I'm going to leave the machine running for a minute and we'll see if anything happens. Okay, so after uh, letting the machine sit for a few minutes and then rebooting it, it appears that I may have the wrong sample of Locky. So we'll move on. Hang on just a second. Okay, so we still have plenty of ransomware samples. So we still have Satana, WannaCry, Petya, and Cerber. I'm going to try Satana next. Okay, MCSoft has popped up. Suspicious behavior has been found in the following program and is recognized as dangerous by the anti-malware network. And once again, it's gone. Out of here. Let's try Cerber, which is a resilient ransomware. And um, a lot of pro uh, products seem to have problems with it. Let's see if MCSoft can handle Cerber. Once again, it is recognized immediately by Komodo signatures. And again, MCSoft picks it up and gets rid of it. 
Let's try WannaCry, the recent ransomware epidemic. It's extracted a lot of its stuff, but again, MCSoft picks it up and gets rid of it. So, WannaCry is gone. I don't know why the alert windows are appearing right there, but whatever. It's working. Um, so it looked like it was allowed to create whatever files it wanted. However, um, MCSoft got rid of it and it was not able to affect our files, which is excellent. It wasn't even able to make encrypted copies of our files before MCSoft quarantined it. So, very, very good. The final sample I'm going to try is Petya. Let's just move it out here to the desktop. And we're going to execute it. Um, Petya actually tries to encrypt the master boot record. So uh, let's go ahead and see what happens here. And once again, MCSoft picks it up and it's still in memory for some reason. But it wants us to uh, restart the computer to um, get rid of the ransomware. And actually, Petcha actually just crashed. So I will comply with MCSoft and see if we have any effects left over, and then we'll talk about it. So I'll be back. Okay, so it appears that MCSoft was able to render the ransomware useless. Um, the machine boots fine, so Petya was not able to do any kind of damage, and... Uh, I'm really excited for MCSoft. I think it did a great job. Uh, the video on their website was absolutely 100% accurate. Um, it blocked every single one of the uh, ransomware samples that I had in this folder. And uh, it did a great job. So if you're looking for good ransomware protection, MCSoft definitely provides that. Um, wasn't able, server wasn't able to do anything, WannaCry couldn't do anything, Jigsaw, none of them, nothing. There was no encryption whatsoever. So I think MCSoft uh, does a great job, and uh, I'm looking forward to testing the full version. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.